Welcome to learning class. So today we are gonna do triangle law of forces. The law states that if three forces acting at a point can be represented in magnitude and direction by the sides of a triangle taken in order, they are in equilibrium. So now let's just consider three forces. P Q, R, acting at a point O. So these are the three forces P, Q and R acting at point O. Now uh, we need to represent it by the sides of a triangle. So let this P force here. So we need to uh, see that the magnitude and the direction is same so i think yes this magnitude is similar to this and direction is also same so let these points be a and b so uh, p force is represented by the ab side of the triangle the triangle would be abc and now this r force okay i may not be exact but you should know that it, it's just a rough diagram. Uh, let it be C point and let it be direction should be same. Q force and this is R force. So I don't know whether I have uh, taken the same magnitude or direction, but let's just assume that it's just a rough diagram okay so now p q and r forces are represented by the a b b c and c a sides of a triangle a b c so this means that the resultant of the forces p q and r will be the same as the resultant of the forces represented by AB vector, BC vector and CA vector. Okay, so now let's just complete the parallelogram at this point B D so A B C D is a parallelogram and as we know that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal so definitely B C will be equal to A D okay so we can say that AD is equal and parallel to BC as it is a parallelogram. So definitely the opposite sides are both equal and parallel. So we know that BC vector represents the Q force. So as the magnitude is also same and the direction we will take a to d that means a d vector will also represent q vector uh, sorry q force because it is uh, equal to b c in magnitude also as well as in direction so we can write therefore a d vector represents the force q Okay, so this is easy. Now we know that the resultant of the forces PQR is the same as the resultant of forces represented by AB, BC and CA. Okay, so instead of BC vector, we can also write AD vector because AD vector also represents the force Q. So let's just rewrite it. The resultant of the forces P, Q, R is the same as the 
resultant of the forces represented by AB vector, AD vector and CA vector. Okay, so now this is the AB vector and this is the AD vector. So using parallelogram law of forces using parallelogram law of forces we know that AC vector is the resultant of AB vector and AD vector. Parallelogram law of forces states that when there are two adjacent sides of a parallelogram, their resultant is represented by the diagonal of the parallelogram. So AB vector and AD vector, their resultant is AC vector. So let's simply write it down. The resultant of uh, AB vector and AD vector is represented by AC vector. Now you should know uh, that the resultant of the forces PQR is same as the resultant of the forces represented by AB, AD and CA. So if the resultant of AB and AD vector is AC vector, we can write that we are again. So firstly, we wrote this and then instead of BC, we wrote this. Here we wrote AD instead of BC and now instead of AB and AD we are writing AC because their resultant is AC vector so we are gonna write it again. Resultant of the forces PQR is the same as the resultant of the forces represented by so instead of AB and AD we are just gonna write the resultant and that is AC vector AC vector and CA vector CA vector it is same as usual okay now AC and CA these both are uh, the one and same line the diagonal of the parallelogram so AC it goes from A to C and CA it goes from C to A so which means that their direction is opposite but their magnitude is equal because it is just one line only so their magnitude is same but their direction is opposite which means that they will neutralize each other so let us just write as CA vector and AC vector are equal and opposite. They neutralize each other. So it simply means that the resultant of the forces PQR as we know that it was represented by AC and CA vector but these two vectors neutralize each other we can say that forces P, Q and R are in equilibrium. So this was the thing that we needed to prove and we have proved it that if we have 
three forces acting at a point and these can be represented in magnitude and direction as the sides of a triangle these three forces will be in equilibrium so i hope that you would have understand how this law has been proved if you have any doubt you can just ask me in the comment section so goodbye everybody